Hey everyone out there, welcome back to another edition of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by all of the amazing folks here at Solar Wolf Energy. And with wrapping up from SPI, it's apparent that we have obviously everyone investing into and jumping right into the battery storage space, the energy storage. I get it, it makes sense. On a consumer residential level, this is going to be the massive opportunity. No more will there be required to be the noisy generators which require fuel, maintenance, and again, the noise, right? So eventually, with efficiency and enough investing from Wall Street, batteries are going to level up. You've heard me talk about for years at this point called Battery 2.0. I think we're pretty much right at the precipice of when it's actually going to start beginning. The issue I have is... I think the battery exclusive companies, the LGs, the LG Chem, the Resu, good product. We've installed quite a few of them. Panasonic, as we know, has been in the battery space for a substantial amount of time. I think there's going to be a real problem for these players in that the two in America anyway, let me preface with that, in that the inversion companies, meaning the Enphase of the world, the, the Solar Edge, which do, I would say, probably about 85% of the market share, residentially speaking again, for the inversion, to convert from DC, which is how the panels are measured, into AC, which is how we use our homes, the 220, 240, and the 110, 120. This is how it gets converted from DC to AC power through one of those two companies. Those two companies are in a race themselves, obviously, for market share, Enphase and Solar Edge. Both great companies, both great products, two separate things. They end up, the end result ends up being quite well for, uh, quite good for, for the, the end consumer. The problem with this for Panasonic and LG is that they're coming out, like I said, with their own units. So from many different aspects, this needs to be addressed on their behalf. My thinking is that they're going to have to really step it up. They're going to have to really, really, really offer something in some sort of a a patented design or execution that nobody else can touch or make it price comparative at a level that no one else can touch. And I'll give you another reason why. Solar companies that sell solar systems and energy storage, one of the issues we're going to have with this going forward is if you have 20, 30, 80, 150 reps, you're going to want to teach them on a simple process. You're also going to want to teach them how to explain to potential customers, i.e. homeowners, in simplicity, how energy storage works, the benefits of it. And it's going to be significantly easier for sales reps and sales companies to say, look, we're going to put, you know, fill in the blank panel on your roof. It doesn't matter what it is. But the rest of the entire system is N phase, or the rest of the entire system is solar edge. You're going to have a solar edge optimizer underneath your panel. You're going to have a solar edge inverter that's going to do the inversion from DC to AC. And then you're going to have a solar edge battery. It makes sense. Homeowners like this, especially if you're a sales and marketing company selling the viability and financial strength of some of these companies. So Enphase is starting to come back around to profitability. My hat's off to them. I gotta tell you, I was one of the folks in the uh, in the foray of saying, boy, I think Enphase is done. They really pulled it out. So congratulations to them. In regards to Solar Edge, they, you know, their financials, both these companies are publicly traded. So you can look at their financials right now online. At any point, every quarter, they have to release these. And a company with Solar Edge, where they show massive profitability, they have a nice a cushion of cash. This is sustainable. So if you're a sales company, that's one of the things you probably want to go over and review with your customers is that, look, the products we're bringing you are companies that are financially on good footing. And that's good because how can you offer a warranty if you're, you know, if if you're that close to going out of business, so here we have, let's say, let's say, we'll take Solar Edge in this instance. So we're going to use Solaria, Silfab, Hanwha's, LG's, Panasonic panels, whatever. Doesn't matter the panel in this particular uh, episode. What really does matter, though, 
is the rest of the system because it's not just the panels. It's pretty much what you see, but the panels are dumb if, if, if you think of it. All they do is take in. Once they do that, they have nowhere else to put it. You've got to do something with that. And on the solar edge side or on the uh, end phase side, you, from there, that's where the real work begins for your solar array. Again, with the, the sales side of things, the simplicity and keeping things systematic and, and you know, contained in, in, a, in, a, in a very easily explainable situation, this matters a great deal. And for you know for 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 Solar Edge and for Enphase, when it becomes a blatantly obvious execution of look, this entire system is just one thing. They're all engineered to work together from all one in-house place. Now, clearly, a storage is engineered to work with an LG Chem. It's a nice marriage; they work. But it's again, it's easy to sell. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of advantage using a solar edge battery with a solar edge inverter with the consumption meter built in, things like that. It's going to be a really, really nice plug and play explanation, a really nice for those of us who are installers execution and install process it's going to seem pretty fluid. This is why I think it's really important that Panasonic and LG really are going to have to step up their game at this point. From here forward, if you don't offer something, some kind of gimmick or, or some type of um, availability to either hold more storage, be able to deliver more power more consistently, if some, some type of metric that you can hold accountable and show it that it has massive upside or kind of differentiation from everyone else, it's not really going to work too well. I think the days for LG and Panasonic, and I could be way off, but I think the days for them having a heyday in, in the residential storage side, I think they're coming to a close unless you do something drastic. I hope I'm wrong. I hope LG and I hope Panasonic, I hope you're both watching this video. I hope you take it back and you think, you know what? This gentleman, this, this handsome gentleman is correct. And, and, and they hope they step it up. Because ultimately, everybody wins. Everybody wins. The customer wins. The solar installers win. This, everybody wins in this industry. And more importantly, the customer. They do win, right? So I think in this point, competition is a good thing. So we're going we're gonna to take a step back and we're going to see what happens. Because that's all we really can do at this point. I'm sure ne neither company is going to be asleep at the wheel. And they're just going to let them take market share away. Um, but, you know, again... We're gonna we're gonna step back and watch, and uh, you know, in about a year from now, let's do another video, let's do a follow up, and see where this lands. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think that I am. Questions, comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys, as would anyone else uh, here at Solar Wolf Energy. I'm sure the solar community. So thanks for watching another episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by all the passionate and dedicated people here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thank you.